Hi everybody, today's focus, I am testing the e-cloth mop to see how well it removes bacteria from my home. A few weeks ago, I tested the e-cloth starter kit and we had some disappointing results. I reached out to eCloth and asked them some questions about what does it mean and what products actually can remove 99% of bacteria using just water. If you're interested in that video, I'll put a link to that in the description below. The representative from eCloth gave me a link that showed that the eCloth mop was one of the products that was tested that was able to remove 99% of bacteria. So that's what I'm going to test today. Before I get started, I want to thank Jody, one of my viewers who has gone back and forth with me on email and was very patient with me as it took a while for me to respond to help me measure out the size of the e-cloth and how the e-cloth mop attaches to the mop head to see if I had a mop system at home in which the e-cloth would attach. After we determined that it wouldn't fit on any of my mop systems that I have at home, I decided just to purchase the e-cloth mop system. In order to test how well the e-cloth mop removes bacteria from my home, what I'm going to do is take a petri dish just like this guy here and label it A, B, and C. I'm going to take some sterile swabs and swab my floor. I'm going to place that sample in the section labeled B for before. Then I'm going to clean my floor according to the e-cloth mop directions. I believe it's just adding water, but we'll read that in a second. I'll swab the area again and place that sample in the section labeled A for after. C is my control, nothing's going to go there. So let's see how we're supposed to use this e-cloth mop system. On the packaging it does say e-cloth just add water and it also says a smarter way to clean e-cloth is enough. Okay, so inside the box we have the mop. Let me just take it out. Looks like we had the mop pad already attached to the mop head. There's some paperwork here, which I'll read. And the pole is here. So the paperwork that came with the e-cloth mop says e-cloth, easy, ecological, economical, efficient, effortless, environmental, essential, everywhere, every day, removes over 99% of bacteria. And this is the mini deep clean mop. I got the mini because it was less expensive than the larger one. And I have a lot of mops, so I just went with the less expensive one. So on the inside, they have more information, a little bit about the company since 1995. Uh, there's no added chemicals, which is great. They have different cloths for your needs. Okay, here we go. This is what we want to get into. How to use. Wet mop head thoroughly with water and ring. Clean with mop head damp using just water. Place damp mop head white side up on the floor and attach the mop base to the center of the head. During use, remove, rinse, reattach the head as needed. To extend the telescopic handle to a comfortable height, Hold the bottom of the handle near the base and twist the top handle section. Okay, pretty simple. They most certainly are just saying to use water and it does have the claim on the front that it removes 99% of bacteria. So let's see how well the e-cloth mop removes bacteria from my floor.
Now for some results. Let's look at sample number one for the kitchen floor. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, it still looks like a tremendous amount of bacteria. Not much has decreased. So the e-cloth using just water did not do a good job removing the bacteria from my kitchen floor sample number one. Kitchen floor sample number two. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, we're also seeing a lot of bacteria. There does seem to be a slight visible decrease in bacteria, but there still is a tremendous amount of bacteria in the after section. So the e-cloth mop using just water did not do a good job removing bacteria from my floor, kitchen number two, sample. The bathroom floor, sample number one. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, we're still seeing a lot of bacteria. We're not seeing much of a change at all. So the e-cloth mop using just water did not do a good job removing bacteria from my bathroom floor, sample number one. Bathroom floor, sample number two. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria. It might be hard to see on the picture, but I can see in the petri dish, there are a lot of tiny, small bacterial colonies in that after section. They just don't come through very well um, on the photo, but we can see a visible decrease in bacteria. So the e-cloth mop using just water decreased the bacteria a little bit from my bathroom floor sample number two. So the e-cloth mop did not do a good job removing bacteria using just water alone. That's what their tagline is. We only have to use water and we'll remove all this bacteria. And it just did not work. The mop itself is cute. It's a little flimsy, um, but it's very lightweight. It has an adjustable pole, so you can adjust it for height. Actually, it goes really long. Actually, pretty, pretty long. I most certainly did not need to um, adjust it that much because I am rather short. But anyway, I did choose the small mop head because it was just a less expensive model and I didn't want to spend a ton of money on this test. It's small, I'll try to show you how small it is. Like here's my hand. So it's a small mop head. It's attached using just Velcro. So this is the soft Velcro and the rough Velcro on the mop head. It's easy to attach. It's most certainly easy to use. It's just, it does not remove bacteria like it says it does. So these results are consistent with that starter kit cloth set that I tested. I'll put a link to that in the description below if you're interested in watching that one. But you know, spoiler, it didn't do very well. That's why I tested the mop to see how well it would do. But if you're looking for a very lightweight mop that's super small, this might be a good mop for you. I would just suggest using some sort of cleaner if you're interested in removing bacteria on your floor. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comment section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list. Or you can mail me something. My mailbox address is in the description below. Just do me a favor and send me an email first. That's also in the description below. So we can have a conversation about the product before you send it to me. I do have quite a bit of products in queue that I have at home that I haven't tested yet. So I wanna make sure that what you're gonna send me isn't something that I already have at home. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Have yourselves a great day.